welcome to the lecture on introduction to cracks in wells. So, uh, as we have studied about uh, the uh, welding and we have uh, seen the consequences of uh, you know stresses which are uh, built up in the during the welding process. So, that leads to you know development of residual stresses then that leads to distortion and there are uh, many other kind of uh, you know uh, discontinuities uh, which arise and among them the cracks are uh, you know among the worst. So, uh, I mean it can be gauged in the sense that uh, uh, even weldability is defined in terms of you know uh, you know its ability to resist you know the cracking or how much it is prone to cracking. So, so either during or after welding you know the crack develops. So, even weldability is also defined on that basis. So, cracks basically are you know very important to be studied and we must know that what are the different types of cracks uh, you know uh, then under what conditions they occur. So, you know the, so in this lecture we will have some introduction about uh, the, the cracks uh, and uh, then uh, uh, during this uh, week we will have uh, more discussion on the types of cracks and specific type of cracks you know and uh, and their consequences or so. So, uh, as uh, we should uh, um, you know uh, we should be knowing that uh, the development of crack uh, and its tendency even uh, during welding is one of the prime concern, concern for welders, because uh, they are very much concerned about uh, um, the crack. Now, why uh, cracks uh, you know how cracks occur. So, uh, as we know that uh, during that uh, process you have certainly thermal fluctuations going on the, um, the specimen the weldment is subjected to uh, you know thermal treatment thermal shocks. So, uh, you know so crack will occur when uh, stress at uh, a point in the weldment exceeds the tensile or shear strength of the base metal or weld metal. So, that is what is happening because you will have the development of stresses and if the stress value will reach uh, you know a value which is more than the ultimate tensile strength or ultimate uh, shear strength of the uh, base metal or weld metal. So, then the cracks will occur it may occur at any place it may occur in the uh, you know weld metal zone it may occur in the base metal zone it may occur in the heat affected zone and wherever you know cracks occur. So, that that is the basic reason because uh, uh, you know at some point uh, uh, when the cracks uh, when the stress value will be reaching beyond certain uh, you know certain limit and, and mostly that limit is the ultimate uh, you know strength value. So, in that case uh, you know the uh, uh, cracks uh, used to uh, occur. So, uh, normally cracks do not occur when the uh, material is under compression. So, that is normally you know the cracks are uh, you know uh, occurring in the tensile mode and that is why tensile uh, you know cracks are the uh, uh, most common because uh, when we apply the compression mode you know load then uh, the, there is a uh, uh, very less chance that the cracks will be getting opened. Basically, normally you have these small cracks, and then uh, during the process of uh, you know uh, operation or during the um, during the subsequent processes, if these uh, cracks are opened, then only uh, you know that leads to the failure of the material because uh, uh, you know once it it opens, then on a particular cross section the area will re I mean uh, reduce. So, you will have uh, the load bearing capability at that section will start you know reducing because the area gets reduced. So, normally uh, you know uh, in compression the you, you want here uh, at most of the time you will uh, not hear that uh, the, the compression causes the cracks, but in fact tensile and shear you will have tensile cracks or uh, you know the uh, shear cracks. So, tensile cracks are basically uh, you know most common. Uh, I mean uh, uh, in the sense uh, and also why I mean the shear cracks. Uh, I also wish to mention that uh, you know that is why you will see that uh, 
we do the pinning uh, you know action we have seen that we do some pinning action. So, that is what uh, you know um, uh, you know uh, we go for uh, these uh, pinning because uh, that will put the metal under compression. So, that is how these uh, development of crack will be somewhat uh, you know demotivated or it will not be allowed to grow. So, that is why you know uh, uh, pinning uh, you know uh, is done, but however pinning is not always you know uh, allowed by the welding codes. So, because uh, that there may not be uh, the appropriate way of twinning uh, pinning by the uh, welder or so. So, uh, as we studied that uh, tensile cracks uh, are the most common and uh, uh, you will be uh, and, and they will be occurring uh, either in the you know uh, weld metal or in the you know uh, base metal. Uh, so, uh, the tensile cracks uh, on one side and another side is the shear cracks because that will be occurring because of the uh, you know shear stresses and they also occur and mostly they will occur at certain angle to the you know uh, tensile cracks. So, you know uh, they will be appearing in the line running off at an angle uh, you know from the direction of the uh, stress. So, so uh, you know once a crack starts uh, then uh, you know it will continue through the um, weld and uh, it will uh, continue uh, till the stress causes the cracking I mean uh, that is causing the cracking that is relieved. So, basically uh, you know in, in case of cracks you know one is the, um, the onset of crack or, or the appearance of the crack and then uh, you know its propagation. So, that propagation continues and that will continue uh, till uh, the stress which is uh, you know causing the uh, crack uh, that is relieved. So, so, you know many a times we try to relieve that stress. So, that, that way also the tendency of crack propagation will uh, normally uh, try to decrease. So, that is why we it is written that uh, it will be uh, you know uh, it will be uh, propagating till the you know uh, till the, that cause which is um, uh, there for creating that stress that is uh, you know relieved. So, uh, so, ships uh, you know uh, there are many cases when you will see that in the case of ships or so uh, you know uh, you will see that uh, the ships have uh, broken down into two pieces. So, basically there are cracks and that cracks basically uh, will go on widening and, and without uh, uh, if you if the proper due attention has not been paid then uh, you know in, in that case uh, uh, that will be uh, broken uh, uh, there will be catastrophic failure there will be you know. Uh, uh, it will be um, you know split in uh, the two parts. So, uh, because of uh, you know the small crack which is uh, initially which looks uh, very insignificant very small crack, but then uh, that will start growing and then at one point of time it will uh, be breaking into two parts. Similar you know cases can be um, observed in the case of pipelines uh, which you know uh, which uh, carry the high pressure uh, fluid and uh, you know uh, in that also the crack propagates uh, very fast and uh, then uh, you know uh, so there also uh, you will see that uh, uh, you know the crack will propagate and it will uh, the pipeline will burst. So, so that is how so the even the small cracks th uh, in, in those specific applications cannot be you know ignored. So, so basically these uh, uh, their attention uh, on these uh, cracks is uh, very important. Now, uh, what happens that when you are going for the multi layer welds. Now, in, in those cases uh, you know uh, most frequently the cracks uh, will occur in the uh, first layer of the uh, weld metal in the uh, root joint uh, you know root zone of the uh, weld joint. So, you know uh, you have to have the proper attention you know on the first pass in that uh, you know large joint. So, you know, what we do is normally we try to uh, you know find the presence of cracks using the non destructive testing methods and uh, then uh, you know uh, once ensured we just uh, move ahead. 
So, many a times what we do is that uh, uh, we normally go for preheating the you know uh, weld before uh, preheat the preheat the parent metal before the uh, welding. So, uh, what will happen that that will be uh, decreasing the tendency to form martensite site because uh, what happens that when uh, there will be uh, ten, uh, transformation of uh, uh, martensite site from the uh, other phase like or or so. So, in those cases there is uh, stress build up will be uh, you know maximum. So, in those cases the chances of formation of uh, you know uh, martensite site is more I mean uh, crack also is uh, more. So, once you do the preheating so that uh, so that uh, cooling rate will be decreasing and in that case your uh, uh, chances of formation of the uh, you know uh, martensite site will be lesser and that way your uh, um, uh, chance of having the uh, crack also will be uh, less. So, um, uh, so that these are the you know uh, ways by which uh, we can uh, somewhat reduce the formation of cracks. Now, we will uh, talk about you know uh, the classification of cracks we must know that uh, how many types of cracks are there and we will discuss few of these those cracks uh, you know uh, in, in this lecture. So, uh, coming to you know uh, the uh, classification of cracks we must know that cracks can occur you know uh, in the weld metal or in the HAZ it can occur anywhere. Now, uh, you know sometimes uh, they will be originating in one zone and, and they will be spreading you know and going to the other zone. So, so we are basically uh, uh, you know crack uh, categorizing the crack in uh, uh, normally we categorize in uh, two uh, parts hot uh, you know two types hot cracks as well as uh, cold cracks. Now, uh, if you talk about the you know hot cracks. So, so, coming to the you know hot cracks. So, as is the name indicates it will be uh, you know it will be during that uh, you know hot temperature uh, range. So, they will be occurring uh, normally in the weld bead and sometimes you know uh, they may develop in the HAZ also. So, occur uh, mainly in weld bead. but sometimes in HAZ also. So, you know so many a times uh, mostly it will be we are going to talk about um, that normally in the weld bead and uh, uh, many times uh, many a times we also call it as the solidification cracks. So, uh, you know when they occur in that uh, you know uh, weld metal. So, when they occur uh, you know in weld metal so, we call it as uh, uh, solidification crack, solidification cracks. And uh, when uh, it occurs in the uh, HAZ and that uh, case uh, we call it as the liquidation cracks, but uh, uh, we will study about uh, uh, these cracks more. Uh, you know because uh, in the case of uh, HAZ. So, there there will be you know different kind of mechanism. So, you will have the uh, you know uh, some uh, uh, phenomena which is occurring on the grain boundaries you, you have the presence of low temperature eutectics because of that uh, these uh, cracks are likely to occur. So, they are known as you know liquidation cracks. So, when occurs in you know uh, HAZ so, so it is known as liquidation cracking. So, uh, you know solidification cracks uh, that that, uh, that is there in the case of uh, weld bead. So, they occur basically when uh, uh, when the uh, you know uh, uh, metal is uh, very very hot. So, in those cases as we see when we talk about that uh, in the area of weld bead. So, the temperature is uh, very high it will be just below the uh, solidus temperature. So, so that will be uh, normally you know the uh, case in the case of uh, you know hot cracks or solidification uh, cracks. And uh, they will be normally uh, if you talk about the solidification cracks so they will be normally you know uh, interdendritic. So, and uh, 
you know the uh, they will be uh, you know random uh, grain boundaries so they will be following the random path of grain boundaries uh, along the uh, segregated uh, conditions of uh, you know impurities so segregated concentration of impurities so that will be uh, there in those uh, uh, you know uh, uh, there in that uh, uh, solidification cracking and uh, um, this is because of the solidifying weld metal. So, um, uh, that happens in the case of these uh, you know uh, solidification uh, uh, cracking and this is happening because of the you know uh, oxide formation which is uh, there. So, uh, uh, once you have the uh, start of the uh, hot crack formation then these uh, you know uh, these uh, oxide films are uh, you know formed. Now, uh, these hot cracks which are formed they may be uh, intercrystalline also you know uh, following these uh, uh, lattice layers within the grains. So, that may be also the nature of these uh, hot cracks. Then uh, if you talk about uh, these um, hot cracks you know uh, uh, it is uh, you know uh, the factor which will be uh, promoting these uh, hot cracks. So, there are different factors which uh, promote these um, uh, formation of uh, uh, the hot cracks and uh, uh, these factors are you know uh, like uh, you have uh, the uh, solidification structure then you may have uh, the uh, you know segregation you have the uh, you know stress value in the weld metal you have uh, you know the thickness of the material the strength and all that. So, that we will discuss when we will uh, talk more uh, about uh, you know the um, uh, type of these uh, hot uh, you know type of these cracks. Then uh, you know uh, comes uh, the um, you know cold cracks. Uh, so, before that uh, you have uh, the uh, liquidation cracking. So, as we discussed that uh, after the uh, you know solidification crack you have the uh, liquidation cracking then uh, you come to uh, this. So, this is your uh, hot cracks then uh, you know as we have discussed about the uh, liquidation crack. So, this liquidation crack uh, you know the when uh, you have the crack in the HAZ zone then it is known as the liquidation crack and uh, it will be occurring when the you know you have the high heat input like uh, in the case of uh, electro slag or you know the uh, submerged arc welding. So, in those cases uh, you know uh, you have uh, also uh, 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 the condition is uh, there when you have the high ratio of uh, uh, sulfur and phosphorus uh, with a low manganese contents. In those cases uh, this kind of uh, uh, cracks are basically uh, promoted. So, uh, you know that is uh, so that is happening in the in the area of HAZ. So, th that is uh, more related to the uh, cracks in the HAZ area. Then uh, another uh, crack uh, type of crack which will be basically so normally you have hot cracks and cold cracks. So, anyway liquidation crack will be a part of the uh, you know the hot crack only uh, and then uh, you have the cold crack. Now, cold crack basically uh, is also known as the hydrogen induced crack. So, uh, you know or, or it is also known as the delayed cracking. So, uh, it is also a very serious uh, type of crack and uh, it is uh, normally occurring because of the presence of hydrogen in the weld. So, uh, so that way when you uh, categorize you also call it as the hydrogen induced cracking HIC many a times. So, it will be the reason for these cracks will be that uh, you have the uh, presence of hydrogen in the weld metal you have uh, you know uh, the presence of high stresses and uh, you have uh, the uh, uh, you know susceptible microstructure that is uh, martensite uh, you know formation and uh, normally it, since it is it is occurring at the lower temperature range so maybe uh, from 200 to maybe minus 100 degree centigrade also so so that's why it is known as the you know cold crack now, uh, depending upon the uh, you know uh, nomenclature, location, and orientation uh, of the weld cracks, uh, there is another classification. There is uh, um, that way you classify these uh, you know cracks in uh, other uh, you know types also that is uh, shown here. 
So, you have uh, the uh, longitudinal cracks, you have uh, transverse cracks, you have crater cracks, you have underweed cracks, you have uh, you know uh, toe cracks. So, so normally now when we talk about these uh, you know uh, weld metal cracks, so you will have uh, the these are uh, like uh, if it is in the longitudinal direction, so you will have the longitudinal cracks. The similarly, you have the uh, cracks which is in the uh, transverse direction, so you will have uh, the uh, you know uh, transverse cracks. So you will have uh, basically. Uh, in the weld metal zone, uh, you know, uh, you will have uh, uh, the cracks if it is occurring in the longitudinal direction. So, it is known as the uh, weld metal longitudinal cracks. So, you will have, uh, you know, they, they will be appearing as if, uh, if you talk about uh, the, you know, uh, weld metal cracks. So, uh, you know, you will have uh, uh, you know uh, the uh, if uh, your uh, weld metal is uh, you know like like this so if your weld bead is uh, going like this so um, uh, you know so if the crack is appearing in this longitudinal direction so it will be uh, if it is your weld metal so you this is known as the uh, longitudinal weld metal uh, cracks uh, similarly uh, you may have uh, the uh, presence of the cracks in the transverse direction. So, if your you know if your weld bead you know goes like this and if your cracks are coming like this. So, from in, in, in this direction. So, the, the, then it is known as the transverse you know weld uh, metal cracks. So, so this way you know uh, you may have the you know depending upon the uh, the, the the way they are oriented, you will have the uh, the name such as the longitudinal cracks or uh, transverse cracks. You have also crater cracks. So basically, they, they appear in the crater region. So you have star shaped, you know, on the crater. You will have uh, the uh, so if you have uh, the uh, you know uh, the well metal zone will be like this, and you have the crater uh, here. So, you know on, on those uh, craters you will have in the star uh, shape. So, that is uh, normally you know uh, star shaped, uh, shaped cracks inside uh, you know uh, they, they are occurring normally uh, crater cracks. So, they, they are known as the uh, crater cracks they are the longitudinal cracks they are the uh, you know uh, uh, transverse cracks. You may have uh, the uh, cracks in the base metal also. So, you will have uh, the uh, longitudinal base metal cracks, you may have the uh, you know transverse base metal cracks. So, apart outside the um, you know uh, weld uh, you know weld metal, if you have the crack which is there in the uh, direction of uh, uh, in the longitudinal direction direction of welding. So, that way that is known as the longitudinal base metal cracks, then you have the uh, you know uh, the transverse base metal cracks. So, that way uh, you will have uh, uh, this way you will have the different types of uh, you know uh, cracks. Then uh, there are other types of cracks uh, depending upon the position where they occur. So, uh, in that uh, you will have the under bead and toe cracks. So, you know uh, so where if they are occurring below the bead or on the toe. So, so on that uh, you know basis you will have the classification of these cracks as under bead and uh, toe cracks. So, if you you know if you take a fillet weld suppose uh, you know if you are uh, making a you know fillet weld you know if they are you are making a uh, fillet weld suppose you have uh, the uh, two uh, one fillet joint so that is uh, occurring here and and this way uh, you will have so uh, and this is your fillet so in in that case uh, as you see, so you will have this plate on this side and this plate on this side. Now, in this case, uh, uh, you may have the uh, crack. So, suppose uh, now, now in this case, uh, the crack if it is appearing, suppose here, so that is normally known as the underbeard crack. And if it is uh, happening here, then it is known as the uh, you know toe crack. So, so depending upon you know the uh, the places where they occur, you will have these uh, underbeat as well as the 
uh, you know toe cracks. Then uh, there are uh, also a specific type of uh, uh, cracks. Uh, so, that uh, occurs also uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, in specific cases they you know uh, occur in specific environment or in under specific conditions uh, these cracks also appear and uh, you know uh, in that category you have uh, cracks such as the chevron cracks uh, you know lamellar cracks reheat cracks stress corrosion cracks so 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 these cracks you know they are the special you know kind of uh, cracks uh, which are occurring and we will be discussing about uh, these cracks when we you know uh, talk about uh, uh, these cracks in particular but uh, you know otherwise uh, uh, just for the uh, introduction of uh, these cracks we must know that these uh, these are the cracks like these uh, you know chevron cracks which is uh, you know there so basically they are the uh, intergranular and uh, transgranular type of uh, cracks which are you know observed and uh, normally uh, they are associated with the saw uh, fixtures so you know and uh, uh, sometimes also with the basic coated electrodes so they are uh, you know found and uh, uh, you know uh, these cracks normally you know what they are they are found is they are found to uh, you know be uh, also to told as the 45 degree cracks or staircase cracks because uh, they will be occurring at 45 degree to the uh, weld axis. So, you will have uh, you know the, the if you if you look at the uh, cracks. So, if you have the welded plate so your uh, so weld axis there so, so this way you will have on this side on this side they will be having your this kind of cracks in the middle. So, this way you will have these uh, cracks normally uh, in the thick section you know carbon manganese uh, you know plates uh, where you have high heat input uh, processes like SAW or so these type of uh, cracks are uh, caused uh, you know uh, because of the uh, you know uh, lose loss in the ductility in the steel. So, you know um, so, so that we will discuss so that is known as the uh, chevron type of uh, you know crack. Then uh, you so this is your uh, chevron cracks. Then uh, comes the you know the lamellar cracks and and uh, uh, you know these uh, they occur in the HHR zone. So these uh, lamellar cracks, you know these occur in the HHR zone due to you know localized stress and as well as uh, the low ductility value. So you know in the, in the, this uh, through thickness direction. Uh, they will be occurring. So, and uh, you know this is because of the uh, you know elongated uh, you know stringers of uh, non-metal inclusions that is uh, you know uh, parallel to the rolling direction. So, in those uh, cases uh, you will have these uh, lamellar crack, cracks lamellar uh, tearing will be observed in, in those cases when uh, it is subjected to you know the uh, rolling. So, in those cases uh, uh, parallel to the rolling direction your uh, these kind of cracks are uh, uh, normally observed and uh, it will be again depending upon many factors like the joint restraint and then uh, uh, sometimes the presence of some alloying elements like uh, sulfur and uh, you know oxygen contents. So, that way uh, you know these uh, these type of uh, you know cracks that is uh, your uh, lamellar cracks. Then uh, in that special uh, type of specific type of uh, uh, cracks. Uh, you know uh, we have other uh, you know uh, category also. So, then uh, you have uh, the, the reheat cracks. Now, uh, these uh, you know uh, uh, reheat cracks also are uh, you know found uh, uh, you know they are basically uh, also known as the uh, uh, post well heat treatment cracking. So, we have uh, uh, already seen that uh, many a times we do the post weld heat treatment of uh, the specimen uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, to relieve those uh, residual stresses. So, basically it is very rare type of uh, cracks which occur. So, they are also known as the you know uh, post weld heat treatment cracking PWST cracking and uh, they normally are restricted to uh, some special kind of steels uh, and uh, and uh, we have and there also you have uh, 
Uh, it is seen that normally you have the elements like chromium, molybdenum, uh, vanadium or boron. So, you know uh, and, and mainly found in the heavy sections these uh, you know kind of reheat cracking is observed you know in the case of uh, 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 these uh, you know uh, heavy sections it is found and normally uh, you have uh, its possibility may be there in, in the case of coarse grained you know uh, weld metal and parent steel. So, there these uh, uh, chances of this reheat crack cracking uh, is, is there in the case of uh, weld and in the you know uh, in, in, in the last category you have uh, basically the uh, the you know uh, presence of uh, we, have, we have to know something about the stress uh, you know corrosion cracking. So, that uh, we are uh, basically um, we must be acquainted with uh, this term because uh, uh, you know that uh, uh, you know uh, although this uh, uh, this is also one of the you know, very serious type of uh, uh, cracking. So, uh, in this uh, case what is happening that uh, many a times uh, you know when uh, you have the because in, in welding you have the uh, high cooling and uh, many a times there will be some uh, you know because of the improper diffusion uh, some of the elements which are dissolved and uh, uh, in the later part basically that lead to the uh, cracking uh, uh, that is uh, and the corrosion cracking. So, because of the stress uh, levels. So, that is your uh, stress corrosion cracking. So, we will have uh, you know idea about these uh, cracks in our uh, coming lectures. Thank you very much.